Figma just rolled out its biggest updates yet, making it more powerful than ever. In this video, I'll walk you through all the exciting new features and show you how to use them in your designs. Let's dive right in. First up, Figma has completely redesigned its editor's UI. The most noticeable update is the new and modern yet minimal interface. You will now find a toolbar at the bottom instead of the top with a few new exciting tools that we'll cover later. Don't worry, the overall structure of the panels remains intact, so you don't need to relearn everything. Currently, not all Figma users have access to these changes, as they will be rolling out over the upcoming months. However, if you want to try them out sooner, you can join the waitlist. Simply click on the question mark icon and select the join waitlist option. This will give you the chance to experience these exciting new features ahead of the general release. The next update is all about auto layout. For those of you who find structuring components with auto layout challenging, Figma has introduced auto layout suggestion. Simply right click on your component, like a card, and choose the auto layout suggestion option. And Figma will suggest the best frame structures to make it responsive. This feature also works for larger parts of your design, such as complete pages. Though, keep in mind that accuracy may vary with larger elements. Next, let's talk about Figma's new AI features, designed to speed up your design process and improve workflow. When facing a blank page, the AI can generate an initial design for you, jump-starting your creative process. If you need to rename all your layers, the AI handles it with a single click, saving you the tedious task of renaming them manually. Additionally, the AI can rewrite content, so you don't have to worry about drafting descriptions and titles during the early design stages. Another fantastic AI feature is the one-click prototype option, which connects your pages automatically, saving you so much time. To see your design in different languages, use the translate option to make your design more accessible across various languages. Figma has also collaborated with Apple and Google to bring you their official UI kits, now available in the assets panel. This is a great addition for designers looking to follow these platforms design guidelines closely. Now let's talk about dev mode. In dev mode, new statuses like edited and completed make it easier to communicate changes and readiness, supporting a smoother development process. You can also view your designs on any screen size with the new responsive prototype viewer experience a highly anticipated feature. I know you've been waiting for it. Last but not least, Figma has introduced a new product called Figma Slides, the first presentation tool built for designers and their teams. Figma Slides makes it easy to co-create narratives, engage your audience, and craft impressive slide decks with features like auto layout, advanced properties, and shared libraries. You can even use prototyping options within your slides. Copy a prototype of your design and paste it into your slides to allow interactive presentation for you and your audience. You can also use polls and alignment scales to get real-time feedback from your audience. In addition, you can toggle on design mode to edit your slides just like in the editor. Plus, the AI adjust tone option lets you tailor the tone of your text to be shorter or longer more professional or casual. And there you have it. Figma's latest updates are truly game-changing. Make sure to explore these new features and integrate them into your workflow. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Have a great day and see you next time.